We are now at item number two on ratification of AUD CPR program agreement. Michelle Wells. Madam Chair, Commissioners, and Manager. This is the ratification of the AEDs that we applied for through the grant from the New Mexico Heart Institute. New Mexico Heart Hospital, sorry. Um, we did end up receiving two AEDs completely free of charge for the first year of the program. Um, we have one that's going to be here located at the at the courthouse and I mean in the sheriff's department down here. So it'll be utilized. I mean anybody that's in the building, it's going to benefit everyone really. Um, our department, our staff, all the staff in the building and, and the public that's in the building. And then the sheriff will have one in his unit. So he'll be mobile with it. So he can respond First responder, as we know, is a, is a huge life-saving issue, and now we have a, a tool to help us along those routes. Um, this is a one-year thing. We're going to see how it works for the first year. If it's beneficial and we think that it's worthy, it's a minimal, out of our budget speaking, it's, it, you know, it's hard to break down the cost of a life if you save a life and then the cost of dollars, so I'm not even going to begin to try that. but. Um, this is for two uh, on page three, if you look at the exact part of the agreement. The $800 for a two-year agreement, that's $400 per year. And that includes them doing all the maintenance and facilitating any drill or anything that they might need. Um, the $425 per course for the, the cert certifications and course renewals, and that's for eight people. And then fifty to seventy-five dollars every two years for the replacement of the pads if if we utilize it a lot. So um, this is one of the programs that I had applied for and it was successful. And I just wanted to bring it before you and let you know that we bought them. Okay, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Michelle. We're now at the table for any questions. Any comment from the manager's office or from council? Looks fine. And then I was also wondering if you wouldn't mind if I went to 7B because I have somebody coming to our office at about 12.30 that I can go. Oh, okay. After you take action, I'm sorry. So I'm going to call for a motion. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Um, what is the pleasure of, of the commission as to moving up item 7B? Okay, thank you. Okay, Michelle, go ahead. This is for our one and only animal control officer, Deputy Brevin, to attend the Animal Care Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada, May 21st through the 24th. This is a necessity for him because he has to continue his um, certifications for the state. And uh, without this course, he's not going to be able to have those. So um, he's looking for actuals. Okay, thank you. We're now at the table for question, comment, or we can call for a motion. And this is the first and most current. I mean, this is the nearest location that they have it and they don't have another one for a while and the certification ran out before that. So right, you're, I ask, did, you're asking for actuals. Um, this is where the conference is held? Correct. Actuals. I mean he's Urban's not going to get like a penthouse suite at the no. Palace. <laughs> no, no, he's very okay. practical actually. Okay. Um, no, he's um, if you look on his budget line, he has not used a single penny of mileage or per diem in this budget year, okay. and this is the only that will be coming out of it. So, okay. um, I, and I figured out there that he has, you know, already added everything. I think it's 937 that in, includes his conference fee and everything. So, travel, hotel. And Okay, thank you. You answered my question, so Mr. Thoughty, any questions? Okay, thank you. Is there a motion for approval? So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Have a good meeting. We will now go to item number three.
Voting machine technician contract, Linda Kaiser. Chair Commissioners, I am asking that you table this for me again. Uh, the county attorney and I got on the wrong page on this one, and uh, we need to go out. Garen, you know, is my grandson, so we need to go out and, <coughs> and put it as an RFP. Uh, not an RFP, excuse me. We're going to get a letter of qualification and a resume and put it in the paper, and then we're going to bring the contract back, but we need to run ads in the paper first. So I, I need to do that. So I want that table, but I was going to tell you in my update a while ago that during, when we did the um, municipal elections, I had got a call from Automated Election Services who uh, used to come and check all of my voting machines before the election to make sure they're all running perfectly. The Secretary of State used to pay for that. They did not pay for that in this primary election. So I talked to Joy and I said, Joy, I am, I'm doing the municipals. I think we need to get our machines up and running. I had the ballots printed by AES and we tested each and every one of our machines and Gary, Gary did that since he's on contract with us now. I have four machines that I need to go send to be repaired, which is good to get those done before the primary election. So we've tested each and every machine already. We've already run ballots. We already know that they count ballots well, but we do need four that we need to fix. Secretary of State used to pay for that. They are no longer going to pay for that. That's going to be something on ours. But I couldn't see going into a <coughs> and not knowing that our machines are running perfectly. So they are up and running and ready to go. On the contract, we'll run it in that in the newspaper. We'll get that done, and then we'll probably be back in um, not the next commission meeting, maybe the one after that, to table this and have it. Okay. Thank and you do mind. you have any questions on the voting machines and what we're, no. And everything that we have paid on the contract, that was in statute. Everything that we did was statute, but for some reason they took that out of statute. I'm thinking because some of the other counties can pay more money, and they didn't like it being that low, so but We've kept the contract at what it was in the statute at levels. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Linda, just real quick. Oh, yes. I know this has nothing to do because I, I read this wrong. I thought it was about security and the sheriff wasn't going to be here. But he did convey to me to tell you that uh, whatever you need for security deputies or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, to let him know and he'll be more than glad to assign whatever you need. Thank you. He always does. He always does. Oh, and I guess I need to wait for your motion to table the contract. Thank you. I'll call for a motion to table item number three. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second it. Then moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Can we just extend that motion to include table it until the first April meeting? Yeah, that works. Will you amend your motion? I will amend the motion to commit to the first meeting.
Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Okay, Tracy, you also have item number five. This is resolution 2012-10. Um, this is a request for budget increase. The first item on here is the EPG grant. They did not get the RFPs out for the 12 funding um, in a timely manner, so they extended the 11 through December 31st and the new funding took effect January 1. So this is to increase that because they, they did a grant increase. Um, that is $4,009. There is also an increase on here for um, the U.S. Marshal JLO training for FY11 and FY12. This is um, special operations that the, that the Sheriff's Department runs with the U.S. Marshals. They did um, extend some funding in 11. That's already been expended. We just are doing the resolution to catch up, so we don't look overexpended. And they did allocate money for 12 that has um, started taking effect. And then the last item on here is drug-free communities. This is the FY12 grant that we did receive. That began in October. That was for $99,283 for a total budget increase of $113,292.
67 south, starts at a left of two miles on that. Botero Road West, 1.48 miles. Uh, Skyline, which is 1.16 miles. And uh, Thompson Road, 1.1 miles. Total of 7.74 miles, which will be done in following the following cap. Okay, thank you. Um, it does, will you go ahead and go through the other roads in the other district? Because I don't think they're broken up, right? Everything that we're going to be voting on for that is letter C. Uh, those roads that I just mentioned are for R for letter C. The other roads are for or for the, the other name. Okay. <laughs> the other names. <laughs> Thank you for your clarification. So is there a motion for approval in regards to state contract county arterial program? Go ahead. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded. Any further questions? I have one question. Martin, you said it was AO fifty seven was the first row? Because mm -hmm. the paperwork reads AO fifty eight. So is that how you clarify on the paperwork? Oh hold on, let me read that check. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it is? It's AO58. Okay, that's what it's in there. Just check it. Sorry about that. Thank you for the clarification. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. For now, letter B. Letter D is a school contract for the school bus program. And... Uh,
I have a question of clarification. I'm just trying to picture um, Camino del Norte is up. The second, the one closer to the to the to the, loop. To the curve. The okay. Curve, the one okay. Going, up going up. And it junctions. The other one's going up. That's where we're going. And they're going around the corner. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Are there any questions in regards to this? No. Thank you. I'll call for a motion to approve the county cooperative program. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Okay. So moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. We'll now go to item number 7A, attend the National Conference of Third Court Professionals. Tracy? Madam Chair, Commissioners, Matthew Madam, you have before you a request to travel to the National Association of Drug Court Professionals 18th Annual Training Conference the last week of May into June in Nashville, Tennessee. This will be paid for through funding from the LBWI grant and distribution, and there is money in there for travel. Um, the annual conference is something that um, I think all of the members of our, our uh, DWI court panel should attend. Unfortunately, the only one who has funding to attend is me. I have attended in the past, and what I do is I go to the, um, the discipline-specific training classes for myself, and in addition to that, I obtain as much information as possible for the other panel members, for uh, the judicial panel member, for the district attorney, for the treatment provider, um, for the defense attorney, and for law enforcement. Um, I found the, the training in the past to be very beneficial. Um, they, this time around, it looks like they're going to be focusing um, in one area on technology, utilizing technology to help with some of the, the offenders in our DWI court program, specifically smartphones, texting, and Skype, and how to keep them on track a little bit better. Um, I, as you know, I'm not a fan of airplanes, so I am act asking for actual reimbursement um, that would allow me to rent a vehicle to travel to Nashville and back. Yep, At this point, I don't, ma'am, but I can tell you, um, I have not spent any of the out-of-state travel money, and I want to say without, without having that in front of me, and I apologize, I believe the amount that I have in there is like $3,700, and I do not anticipate it costing anywhere near that much. Um, one, of, one of the reasons um, for renting a vehicle as opposed to using my perfectly good county vehicle is, <coughs> bless you, things do happen. I, um, I anticipated things happen, and if I'm en route to or from, and there's an issue with the county vehicle, then, you know, what do we do, getting it <coughs> fixed, um, what arrangements then have to be made to get back. Um, by utilizing a rental car, um, if there's an issue that breaks down, or if there's you know, even a minor accident, then at least you're in a position where you can get another vehicle and, and continue your trip pretty uninterrupted. Um, but I've been very cautious about how I utilize my budget. I think I still probably have about 42% of my overall budget left. I think that sounds about right for the entire grant. Nashville is about a 22 hour drive. Or 18. The 22 was good, yeah. And you'd rather do that than? Oh, yeah. I would. I would much rather be in a car or wheels on the ground. We're now at the table for any further questions or action on this matter. And how long is the conference? Three days? Four uh, days? The actual conference is Wednesday, May 30th through June 2nd, which I believe is, um, is a Saturday. So you look, you're looking at leaving on a Monday? Coming oh, yeah. back over the weekend? Monday afternoon and coming back over the weekend. Yes? Are we have a three day weekend? 
Are you going by yourself? More than likely, yes. I have been speaking with one of my colleagues in another county, and um, she's not certain if she will be permitted to go. But if so, then we could travel together. Well, I, I personally, Tracy, would rather, I mean, if you're going to drive, I would like you to uh, champion your colleague to go with. I, I would be very cautious about sending you that far, that many miles, uh, by yourself on the time frame to get there. Whether it be in a rental or a perfectly good used kind of vehicle. Um, I'm hopeful. I did speak with her yesterday afternoon. I was hoping to have an answer, you know, a definite answer this morning for you. But she was not, she was not certain. Did you take your car? No, you should take it. Um, I would take Michael, but if, it would, if Michael went with, it would basically just be for a traveling companion. Not, nothing um, in this program would apply to what he does because it's, it is specific to DWI court programs. Um, and that's, that's another thing that I can bring to the conference is you hear all of the time um, in the state legislature and um, on the federal level, people are clamoring for dollars to fund drug court programs and DWI court programs. Um, the Torrance County Magistrate DWI court program operates on a budget of zero dollars. Um, the treatment is, like with any other DWI offender, is paid for through my program, um, through LDWI funds. And any incentives that are associated with it are purchased use, utilizing drug education funds. But unlike some of the other counties who are getting fifty, seventy, hundred thousand dollars to operate their programs, we manage ours with nothing. I'm kind of feeling along the same lines as Bonnie. I don't think it's a very wise decision. Then in that case, I would request that um, an approval be contingent upon my flight or having a companion to drive with, and that way I wouldn't have to come back to you. I could just let the county manager know which, you know, which was the chief. I would be in favor for that. Thank you. So it's, um, I just have a question for legal or um, for Joy. So if she has a traveling companion that's a colleague from another county, then that would be covered by her insurance, correct? Well, they have the same insurance. Okay. So just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Do you want to make um, a motion contingent? I would make the motion contingent on a colleague traveling with you uh, or facing your fears the flight. And we could also put like, a hog tie with that. <laughs> now I would make the motion that contingent upon um, you having a colleague drive with you, uh, make the motion that we approve. And then that colleague would share in the expense of the rental of the vehicle? Quite possibly. Um, her budget is, well, she has a much larger budget. Um, but it's pretty well extended out. So I don't know how much um, she'd be able to offer in the way of contribution. Uh, fortunately, in addition to you know government rates and everything,